If you've ever sat behind the wheel of a modern car, chances are you've noticed a mysterious little button labeled Sport somewhere near the gear shifter or on the dashboard. Maybe you've pressed it out of curiosity, or maybe you've never dared to touch it at all. But what does this Sport Mode button actually do? Is it just a gimmick, or does it genuinely transform your driving experience? In today's video, we're diving deep into the mechanics, purpose, and real-world impact of the Sport Mode feature found in many cars today. From economy sedans, to luxury SUVs, and high-performance sports cars. Buckle up, because we're about to uncover what really happens when you press that button, right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, Sport Mode is designed to alter the behavior of a car to make it feel more responsive, more engaging, and, well, sportier. This is achieved through a combination of changes in throttle response, transmission shift points, steering feel, and sometimes even suspension stiffness or exhaust note. But the exact adjustments vary depending on the make and model of your vehicle. So, while the button may look the same across different cars, what it actually does under the hood can be drastically different. In a basic family sedan, sport mode might simply hold gears longer to give you quicker acceleration. In a high-end performance car, it could activate a whole suite of changes, including quicker gear shifts, tighter steering, a stiffer suspension, and even increased exhaust sound to make the experience more visceral. Let's start with throttle response. In most cars, Sport Mode remaps the throttle pedal's sensitivity. This means that for the same amount of foot pressure on the gas pedal, the engine will respond more aggressively. It's not necessarily giving the car more horsepower, but it's allowing you to access the available power more quickly. In regular or eco modes, the car is programmed to deliver power more gradually, which is great for fuel economy and a smooth ride. Sport Mode tosses that out the window in favor of immediacy and punch. You tap the gas, and the car jumps forward with far less hesitation. It feels faster because it reacts faster, even though your engine hasn't magically become more powerful. Next, let's talk about the transmission. This is where many drivers first notice a change after hitting the Sport button. In automatic vehicles, Sport Mode will typically alter the shift logic of the transmission. The car will hold onto gears longer, allowing the engine to rev higher before upshifting. Why? Because higher RPMs mean more power is available, which translates into quicker acceleration. In some vehicles, downshifts also happen more quickly and aggressively when slowing down or preparing to accelerate again. This keeps the engine in its power band ready to respond at a moment's notice. In dual clutch or performance tuned automatics, sport mode can also speed up the actual shift times, making them feel almost instantaneous. This gives the driver a more connected and exciting driving experience, especially on twisty roads or during spirited driving. Steering is another area that can be affected by sport mode. In many modern cars equipped with electric power steering, the steering feel can be tuned electronically. In normal driving modes, steering is light and easy, perfect for city driving or parking lots. But in sport mode, the system may increase the steering effort and reduce assist, making the steering feel heavier and more direct. This provides more feedback from the road, which can help the driver feel more in control at higher speeds or during dynamic driving situations. Some vehicles even adjust the steering ratio slightly for quicker response, though this is more common in sports cars than family crossovers. In higher-end vehicles, especially those with adaptive or electronically controlled suspension systems, sport mode can also stiffen the suspension. 
This reduces body roll during cornering and makes the car feel more planted and precise. The trade-off, of course, is ride comfort. A stiffer suspension can feel harsh over bumps and rough roads, so it's not something you'd want on all the time, hence the ability to switch it on or off. But when you're on a smooth, curvy road and want to feel every nuance of the pavement, Sport Mode's firmer suspension setup can make a big difference. Sport Mode often makes visual changes too. Some cars will change the dashboard graphics, switching from a calm blue to an aggressive red. The tachometer may become more prominent or a digital G-force meter may appear. These changes aren't just for show. They're meant to reinforce the idea that you're now in a different, more focused driving environment. In some cases, active sound enhancement or exhaust valves are activated, giving the car a louder, more exciting engine note. This is especially noticeable in performance vehicles where exhaust sound is part of the overall experience. But before you leave sport mode on all the time, there are a few downsides to consider. First and most obvious is fuel efficiency. By holding gears longer and revving higher, the engine uses more fuel. So if you're concerned about gas mileage, Sport mode is probably best reserved for specific driving situations. Secondly, the increased responsiveness and stiffness can make the car feel jumpy or uncomfortable during regular commuting. It's not the ideal mode for crawling through traffic or cruising on the highway. So, when should you use sport mode? It shines when you're driving on a winding road merging onto a highway, or simply want to enjoy your car a bit more on your daily commute. It's also great for quick overtakes, as the car is more likely to downshift promptly and deliver power faster. Just remember, it's not a magic button that turns your car into a race car. Sport mode enhances what your vehicle is already capable of, it doesn't redefine it. The Sport Mode button is a tool, one that enhances your connection to the car and the road when used at the right time. It's not a gimmick, and it's not just for show. Whether it's sharper throttle response, crisper gear shifts, or a throatier engine sound, Sport Mode adds an extra layer of excitement to your drive. The next time you see that button, don't be afraid to give it a press. Just know what to expect and what not to. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.